what's going on in our neighboring galaxy. An alarming signal has been received by the James Webb Telescope, and it came directly from our neighboring galaxy, Andromeda. The galaxy, which is home to trillions of stars, is one of the most beautiful known galaxies in the universe, but it is also dangerous at times. This galaxy devours entire mini galaxies and is currently hurtling towards our Milky Way at more than 100 kilometers per second. Is the strange signal the first indication of the imminent meeting between the Andromeda Galaxy and the Milky Way? Or are we dealing with a strange unknown phenomenon? James Webb turned its sharp eyes to the galaxy and is now showing us something amazing. This galaxy has already shown us in an impressive way that it's not what we think it is. In the 1920s, big names like Harlow Shapley, Heber Curtis, and Edwin Hubble conducted research using the latest technologies of the time. Thanks to the achievements of electrical engineering, telescope performance increased significantly. For the first time, astronomers were able to look beyond the edges of our galaxy. At that time, Heber Curtis was still one of the researchers who believed that the Milky Way was the entire universe. His colleague Harlow Shapley, however, already suspected that there were other galaxies and that the universe was much larger. Shapley and Hubble had spotted strange nebulous clouds behind the border of the Milky Way. One of them was named the Andromeda Nebula because it hides behind the constellation of Andromeda. At the time, Andromeda was initially regarded by the general scientific community as a simple nebula that was virtually outside the actual universe. In 1924, Hubble achieved a revolutionary breakthrough and was able to prove that Andromeda and several other nebulae discovered were in fact galaxies. That's crazy! Isn't it? That was just 100 years ago. For 100 years, we have known about other galaxies and the true nature of Andromeda. Back then, people got their first impression that the universe was even bigger than they had previously imagined. We have experienced such upheavals again and again in our history. People used to think that the Earth was all there was and that the sun was a hole in the sky through which life from a god shone onto the Earth. Then people thought that the Earth was a disk and that you would fall into nothingness or hell if you went beyond the edge. Galileo Galilei was put under house arrest in the 17th century for his claim that the Earth revolved around the Sun, and a few centuries later, the Church finally recognized that the Earth was round. Can you imagine what Galileo would have said about such images, or how the Church of the Middle Ages would have reacted to the idea of galaxies in an almost infinitely large universe? A galaxy twice the size of our Milky Way and with trillions of stars. Around 100 years ago, Andromeda turned out to be not only a galaxy but also a collection of stars far larger and more powerful than our own. Initially, astronomers thought the galaxy was a disk or a ring. Although telescopes had made significant progress in the 1920s, the observation possibilities were still in no way comparable to the technology we have available today. It was only with significantly better imaging that it became apparent that Andromeda is actually a spiral arm galaxy like our Milky Way. Only, Andromeda is significantly larger, with a diameter of around 220,000 light years, about twice as large as our Milky Way, which has a diameter of around 100,000 to 120,000 light years. Despite being only slightly more than twice as large, it contains far more stars. The Andromeda galaxy is estimated to be home to around 1 trillion stars whereas we have just 100 to 400 billion stars in the Milky Way. Thanks to the higher star density, Andromeda is a true beacon in the night sky. Astronomers could only dream of such numbers and great details 100 years ago. Nevertheless, you can well imagine how exciting the discovery of other galaxies must have been back then. Today, we know for sure that there are around 50 billion galaxies. Estimates assume that there are a total of 100 to 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe. Some calculations even arrive at the astronomical figure of 2 trillion galaxies. The majority of these galaxies are found in a supercluster named the Shapley Supercluster, in honor of one of the first galaxy researchers. James Webb shows Andromeda as a ring of fire. It seems that every age and era has seen a revolution in science and technology. The telescope named after Edwin Hubble dramatically changed our view of the universe in the mid-1990s. Today, with James Webb, we have the best space telescope of all time, with razor-sharp infrared images. This telescope scans every light signal in the universe, no matter how small. Unlike Hubble, Webb detects traces of light in the infrared range with its instruments. The telescope collects every trace of light, 
no matter how small, and assembles these minimal impulses into incredible images. Hubble already provided us with a powerful image of the Andromeda galaxy, assembled from thousands of individual images. Now, Webb is taking another look at the Andromeda galaxy using unique infrared technology, and once again, we are in for a surprise. Every new telescope and every technological advance introduces us to new areas of the universe. Infrared telescopes give us insights that were unattainable with earlier technologies. One of the major improvements of infrared observations is the ability to reveal dust structures within galaxies. In the Andromeda galaxy, for example, infrared light allows for the first time a clear view of dust rings that have remained hidden in other wavelengths. These dust rings tell the story of star formation within the galaxy and are evidence of dynamic processes. Infrared observations are usually particularly useful for detecting cool objects that do not emit enough heat to produce waves in the visible light spectrum. This makes young stars and their formation regions particularly visible to Webb, and the telescope sees all the cool dust clouds that may eventually become stars. As Webb not only detects the dust but also penetrates it without any problems, we can now see through the dense clouds of gas and dust, revealing the inner structures with active galactic centers and supermassive black holes. Galactic cannibalism. While most of you have probably heard of galaxy mergers, where two galaxies become one, the fact of galactic cannibalism is probably a surprise. Galaxies eating each other sounds like a title from a bad science fiction movie. And yet this phenomenon is an astronomical reality. By cannibalism, galaxy researchers mean processes in which a larger galaxy literally devours the matter of a smaller one. In contrast to mergers, the larger galaxy extracts all the matter from the smaller one and destroys it. The basic structure of the larger of the two remains almost unchanged. This is triggered by gravitational processes. If galaxies come close enough to each other due to their mutual attraction, and the difference in size is significant, this can lead to the disintegration of the smaller galaxy. This phenomenon has been observed particularly within galaxy clusters, where many galaxies lie together in a confined space. The gravitational interaction leads to a dynamic reaction in which stars, gas, and dust are pulled away from the smaller galaxy and incorporated into the larger one. The dynamic tidal forces can trigger enormous star formation phases and disrupt the nuclei of the galaxies involved. Are you surprised to hear that the magnificent Andromeda is one such galactic cannibal? Our neighboring galaxy has been shown to have devoured several of its satellite galaxies. Certain structures in the stellar population of Andromeda serve as evidence of these violent acts. And the traces are also visible, for example, in the galaxies M32 and M110, which are still partially visible today. Incidentally, our Milky Way is no innocent party in this cosmic drama. It has already assimilated several smaller galaxies in its history and is currently devouring the Sagittarius dwarf galaxy. Galactic cannibalism probably plays just as big a role in the development of galaxies and the shaping of the large-scale structure of the universe as harmonious marriages between galaxies or even encounters in which galaxies only partially touch and change each other. Due to the fascinating constant movements and interactions, the cosmic networks are constantly changing, and the cosmic networks in turn contribute in their own way to the dynamics of the galaxies. All in all, this is a cosmic round dance that we can only explore and understand in fractions. The most powerful crash of all time, Milk Droma, is true. At this very moment, the Andromeda galaxy is hurtling towards us at a speed of 110 kilometers per second, and we are also moving towards it. The cosmic marriage of the two is inevitable, and it almost seems as if the two are magically attracted to each other. In around four to five billion years, the climax of the cosmic spectacle of superlatives will take place. The Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy will then begin their final merger. The result will be Milk Droma, and the birth of this new galaxy will mark the end of two separate galactic entities. This coming together is not abrupt but a process that will gradually gain intensity over millions of years. As the two get closer and closer, their respective gravitational fields will begin to interact with each other leading to dramatic changes in the structure of both galaxies. At a certain distance, first the outer stars will collide. Their orbits will be perturbed by each other's gravitational forces, which can lead to a beautiful, albeit chaotic, arrangement of stars. 
Stars and star clusters that were once stable in their galactic disks will then be thrown into new orbits. Some will probably even be catapulted out of the galaxies and then travel through the vastness of intergalactic space without a connection to a galaxy. As the cosmic dance between the Milky Way and Andromeda unfolds, their gravitational tango will not only affect stars but also the interstellar medium that fills the space between them. The collision of gas clouds from each galaxy will spark a frenzy of new star formation as the pressure waves compress these molecular clouds, triggering the birth of millions of stars. This phenomenon is not only a spectacle of cosmic proportions but also a fundamental process in the evolution of galaxies. In the midst of this chaotic merger, the supermassive black holes at the centers of both galaxies will also play a dramatic role. Over billions of years, these black holes have grown by accreting surrounding gas and stars, becoming millions to billions of times more massive than our sun. As the galaxies merge, their black holes will spiral towards each other under the influence of gravity, eventually merging into a single, even more massive black hole. The collision of these supermassive black holes will release colossal amounts of energy in the form of gravitational waves. These waves, ripples in the fabric of spacetime itself, were predicted by Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity and were recently detected by ground-based observatories on Earth. The merger of the Milky Way and Andromeda's black holes will be one of the most powerful events in the universe, potentially observable by future generations of astronomers equipped with even more sensitive instruments. Beyond the immediate impact on the galaxies involved, galactic mergers like this have profound implications for the larger universe. They are key events in the cosmic evolution of structure, influencing the distribution of matter and the formation of new galaxies. The collision between the Milky Way and Andromeda is just one example of how galaxies interact on cosmic scales, shaping the rich tapestry of the universe we observe today. While the merger between our Milky Way and Andromeda is a slow-motion collision on human timescales, it is a reminder of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of the cosmos. Throughout history, galaxies have grown and evolved through mergers and interactions, with smaller galaxies being swallowed by larger ones and the largest galaxies forming through the merger of equals. These interactions not only reshape the galaxies involved, but also influence the environments around them, triggering bursts of star formation and altering the distribution of dark matter. Dark matter, a mysterious substance that makes up about 85% of the matter in the universe, plays a crucial role in the dynamics of galaxy mergers. Unlike ordinary matter, dark matter does not emit, absorb, or reflect light, making it invisible to traditional telescopes. Its presence is inferred from its gravitational effects on visible matter, such as stars and gas clouds. During galactic mergers, dark matter halos, the invisible regions of dark matter surrounding galaxies, also interact, potentially leading to the formation of new structures in the universe. The study of galaxy mergers is not only important for understanding the past and future evolution of galaxies, but also for testing our theories of cosmology and gravity. Observations of mergers provide valuable insights into how galaxies form and evolve over cosmic time, shedding light on the processes that have shaped the universe since its infancy. In addition to their scientific importance, galactic mergers also capture the imagination with their cosmic drama. The collision between the Milky Way and Andromeda, dubbed Milk Droma, is a spectacle that will unfold over billions of years, a cosmic waltz of stars, gas, and dark matter. Imagine witnessing the night sky during such an event, the swirling arms of the galaxies merging, stars flung into new orbits, and the distant glow of new star clusters forming amidst the chaos. While the merger of the Milky Way and Andromeda will transform both galaxies into a single, larger elliptical galaxy, it will also mark the end of their separate identities. The Milky Way, with its familiar spiral arms and central bar, will merge with Andromeda's own spiral structure to create a new galaxy with a different appearance. Over time, the distinct features of each galaxy will blend together, creating a new cosmic entity that astronomers will study for millennia to come. The merger will not only alter the appearance of the galaxies involved, but also their populations of stars. As stars from both galaxies interact gravitationally, some will be flung outward into intergalactic space, while others will be captured in new orbits around the merged galaxy's center. This dynamic process will lead to a reshuffling of the star's ages and compositions, 
creating a diverse stellar population within the newly formed galaxy. For astronomers, the merger of the Milky Way and Andromeda presents a unique opportunity to study the aftermath of a galactic collision up close. By observing the newly merged galaxy in detail, astronomers can learn more about the processes of star formation, black hole growth, and galaxy evolution that occur during such cosmic events. The observations made during Milk Droma will provide valuable data to test existing theories and refine our understanding of how galaxies grow and change over time. One intriguing aspect of galactic mergers is their role in triggering bursts of star formation. As gas clouds collide and compress during a merger, they can collapse under their own gravity to form new stars. These regions of intense star formation, known as starburst galaxies, are characterized by their high rates of star formation and can produce thousands to millions of stars in a relatively short period. In the case of Milk Droma, the collision between the Milky Way and Andromeda will likely lead to a significant increase in star formation activity. The merger will compress gas clouds in both galaxies, triggering new waves of star birth across the merged galaxy's entire extent. These young, hot stars will illuminate the merged galaxy, creating a vibrant tapestry of light amidst the darkness of intergalactic space. Moreover, the merger will also affect the fate of planetary systems within both galaxies. As stars and planetary systems are disrupted and reorganized during the merger process, some planets may be ejected from their original orbits, while others may be captured in new orbits around the merged galaxy stars. This cosmic rearrangement could have profound implications for the habitability of any remaining planets, as their orbits and climates may be significantly altered by the merger's aftermath. The study of galactic mergers also extends our understanding of the broader structure of the universe. Galaxies rarely exist in isolation but are often found in groups or clusters, bound together by gravity. The Milky Way and Andromeda, for example, are part of the local group, a small cluster of galaxies that also includes the Triangulum Galaxy and several smaller satellite galaxies. As the Milky Way and Andromeda merge, their combined gravitational influence will reshape the dynamics of the local group, affecting the orbits and interactions of its member galaxies. This interaction could lead to future mergers between other galaxies within the local group, further altering its composition and structure over cosmic time. In conclusion, the merger between the Milky Way and Andromeda represents a pivotal moment in the cosmic history of our universe. It is a reminder of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of galaxies, as well as the fundamental processes that govern their evolution. By studying Milk Droma, Astronomers can gain valuable insights into the processes of galaxy formation, black hole growth, and the distribution of dark matter, advancing our understanding of the universe on both a local and cosmic scale.